Hi folks, what is up? I hope that you guys are having a great day so far, and if you are not, I hope that for the next 10 or so minutes we could hang out and just talk home decor and sort of put all of the other stuff that we're dealing with on the back burner, just because I know sometimes when I'm going through a rough patch, just kind of talking about something else, doing something else totally different from what I'm dealing with is sort of a sense of relief almost. So for the next 10 or so minutes, let's just do home decor and um, we will come back to all of that other stuff. So like I said, today's video is going to be a home decor haul. As you guys know, I recently, you know, built my studio. We're in the studio space now. I needed a couple things for the studio, light fixtures and things like that, so I will be showing you guys those in this video. They're already hanging. But I also decided to get a few other little home decor pieces that I thought would be fun to sort of share in this video. Um, and I'm able to kind of haul quite a few things because Again, it was like a brand new space. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the new home decor goodies I got, just keep watching. So let's start with the small stuff because a lot of the stuff I'm not going to be able to actually hold for you guys. It's gonna be a lot of me talking kind of thing. The first thing, this horseshoe. So I still have this on it just because it is quite dirty and I don't wanna to touch it. I'm wearing a white dress and I just feel like this just has disaster written all over it, but we'll get through it. I got a horseshoe because I really want to put this on top of the door in my studio. Um, I swear there's motorcycles going by like every two seconds that I'm trying to film. <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying, there was a horseshoe up in one of the stables I used to ride at. Uh, you can really get these anywhere, I would say. Another motorcycle. I will say that the next like home studio like office decor video will actually be the tour of the studio because I was going to do like a video decorating it but I just thought it would might be easier to do like the shelving sort of decorating video if you haven't seen that link it down below and then do a haul and then just show it because it was just too much to do at one time. Anyways, that's coming next, so look out for that. The next thing I got uh, is from Target. I didn't get too many like brand new things for the studio. I really, really love and appreciate thrifted and vintage home decor. So when doing the office, I did try to really do a mixture of vintage things as well as, you know, some things I had to get brand new. My light fixtures are vintage, but the fan I got, I got new. So I tr really, really tried to make sure that I was shopping responsibly in that sense. This is by Opal House. I I think these are a bit old because I got these on clearance. Originally $20, got $4.10. So I'm not sure that you can still get these, but probably you get them on clearance somewhere. Anyways, this is just a garland. This has little bells on it. I This looks vintage if you ask me. I sincerely love this and think it's the freaking cutest thing. Ever. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet in the office. I'll find a spot. I was thinking maybe like on the door. I think it would look really cute outside on a patio, but I don't really have any like coverage yet. I'm going to probably put a deck on this thing. You know, this is fake vintage. Like it's not weathered. This somebody painted it to look like this. But yeah, so it's pretty long. You can see there's like, it's probably three times as long as this. I just love it. I love vintage bells. If you know anything about me, I'm on the hunt for some good vintage bells and I just never really have any luck. I've seen them, like big ones, but not really ever like little ones or start sending me all your vintage bells you find on Etsy and then vintage shops, please. The next one is a stretch. I don't really know if I can pick it up, but your girl's gonna try. I'm gonna get another shot of this. This is impossible, but to give you, you know, it does, it's, this is, this is it. This is a drawer system-y thing. Uh, one way to put something down. So they have drawers like this and this that slide in and out. $69.99 was 30% off. Uh, it is from Hobby Lobby if you're interested. It also has that like vintage look as well. So as you can tell when I am buying stuff, I am buying stuff that sort of looks vintage. The reason that I got this was because I needed something to put new PR samples in. So in the mail when I get PR makeup or something like that, I wanted to bring it directly into my studio. My makeup collection is stored in my house. Uh, I don't want to leave it stored out here, but I do want to have all of the new stuff out here so that when I do sit down to film, anything makeup oriented, I have that stuff on hand and I don't have to run inside to go get it. If it goes into my regular makeup collection, I always like forget about it. So the whole idea with this thing was that that's where I was gonna store all the new PR stuff. Good idea? I think it was a pretty good idea. Kind of expensive, $70. The last thing that I can actually hold is like on the shelf, so I'm gonna grab it. Really gonna need to get the AC put in here soon because I had to close all the windows and turn the fan off so that I could film and 
<laughs> it's so hot in here. So I got this vase. Um, stunning. What am I gonna tell you? It's cream, it's a circle. It's just stunning. It just looks so good in here. I'm so happy I found it. It was Value Village. I believe it was $2.99. I'm surprised the sticker's not on it still. Go me! All right, so most of this other stuff I can't hold because just too big and too weak. So, <laughs> so the first thing I needed for the office was lights and I decided I wanted to have either two fans and one light or two lights and one fan because we put in three little uh, spots that we could hang stuff. And then I ended up doing the two lights, one fan just because I found vintage two lights that matched. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. I'm really thankful I was able to do that because it really needed the two lights. Like in here at nighttime, one light would have just not been enough at all. So um, I did the two lights and the fan in the middle. The lights I had seen at um, one of my favorite antique malls, I, I wanna say like a year ago, but then I really, really, really was like, oh, those are really nice. Um, like maybe in March or something. When I went back to get them, I couldn't find them, but they had just moved them and I was so thankful that they had them. So this is what they look like. They're absolutely stunning. I really like the bulbs that I chose to put in them as well. So I think it keeps it within that vintage vibe. If you know me, you know that I like rusty things, but I think it still really works well within this space. So then I needed to find a ceiling fan. I actually found the one that I got at Home Depot. I really wanted something that was very different from the traditional ceiling fan. The big ceiling fan blades, I just thought wouldn't really look good in this space because even though the space is quite large, you know, it's not cathedral ceilings. So this is the fan I found. Um, it shows that it's like really good for like back porches, like some porches and things like that. But I think that this like looks so good in the space. Originally, I was going to paint it white and or brown. And the reason I didn't was because how much work would that be? And I was at the end, like when the office was like kind of done, I was like, okay, I don't want to paint a fan. This fan is really cool because it actually like moves on its own. Um, you can have it pointing either way. So like depending on what side of the office you're on, you can have it on, which I thought was really great. The next thing I needed to get was a rug. I really wanted a small rug. I want to be able to shoot on the other wall in my studio with just white floor. So I didn't want the rug to take up that much space. I ended up finding this one at Hobby Lobby and it's very similar to the one that I have in my house, like from Ikea, except this one's like much bigger knots and it has like the tassel end, which I adore way more. I actually love this one so much more than I love the Ikea one. It wouldn't be great for like living rooms or anything because it's not that big but I think it's like perfect perfect size for this space and again I got it from Hobby Lobby and I don't remember the price but I believe that it was something like a hundred and I don't know like 149 or something. I feel like I've said this a lot in this video but if you know me which you know me if you watch thrift videos I feel or if you are in my house at all ever. So many motorcycles. I get it it's nice though. So I own a lot of chairs. Chairs are like my freaking favorite thing to thrift. Chairs and vases. That's my jam. Found this chair at a, a store called The Pale Blue Dot and they're in Hamilton, Ontario, but they also have like a vintage level that they call The Cave and it has like its own Instagram. It's like a captain's chair and I remember like my grandparents had one of these and it just like reminds me of that. I didn't need a chair because I have two other chairs literally like that could be desk chairs, but I did, I got it. <laughs> so, you know, what can you do? I just, it's gorgeous. It looks amazing in the space. I don't regret getting it at all, but I just have a lot of chairs in storage too, so. Next up, um, I have a daybed from Urban Outfitters. The daybed was really, really great when I had it in my bedroom because the girlie slept on it and it was like just her dog bed. And I ended up putting it in storage when I moved my room out of the loft because there was just not enough space for it. And then I pulled it out of storage because I thought that it would look really nice in the office as like sort of a couch without taking up too much space. Only thing was is that when I did put it in storage, I ended up getting rid of the cushion. The cushion was just kind of destroyed because it was a dog bed. I ended up ordering a new cushion for it from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters does not ship furniture to Canada, so I had to use a US address where they ship it to a US address and then I pay those people to ship it to me, which was really frustrating, but it did get here and I'm very happy with it. So this is what it looks like. It's just gonna be nice because I have like a little mini projector. I wanna be able to like project like Netflix or something like onto the other blank wall in the office and be able to have like a movie night or something in here, really utilize the space. And then when the dogs are in here while I'm working, um, I'll just let them like kind of snooze on the couch. I will just like put a blanket over it to protect it. I'm protecting this one. The last thing that I really have to haul isn't that exciting, but it is this clothing rack from Ikea. These are really 
really affordable, $14.99. I wanted to have this in here just because when I do hauls and things like that, I wanna have the clothes like actually hung up so I can see them because it's so frustrating to do a haul, pulling stuff out of a bag all the time. It's like the perfect size, nice and simple. It's, it's not gonna be holding a lot of weight. I wouldn't put a lot of weight on these things. They don't, they are not that strong. So that is all of the home decor that I've gotten for the office. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I freaking love home decor videos. Like the office is almost done and I'm just, a, I'm like, oh, but I want it. I want to do more to it. So if you guys have any requests or maybe things that you would like to see me do to the space or like film in this place, I would love you if you would leave them down below in the comments, just all of your requests. That would be absolutely fantastic. I guess other than that, I am off. I hope that you guys have a great rest of the day. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye guys.